Coming up on Mountain News this morning, donations are pouring in for the Howard family after a Harlan County house fire claimed the lives of Allison Howard and her two young toddlers. And we have more information on an inmate rebellion in Bell County, plus some pretty cool video of the severe storms that rolled through the mountains last night. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. It is 459 on Friday, May the 3rd. I'm Will Punkett. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning. Yesterday, it came a pouring down roughly a little afternoon or so, and it didn't it kind of hit and miss from there mm -hmm. throughout the afternoon. And Brandon, are we going to see a repeat of that today? Possibly, especially in the eastern third of the state. We're still under that marginal risk for severe weather there in the, the about the for basically hazard east at this point. But again, yesterday, pretty tough at times. Power went out at my house and uh, it was uh, uh, kind of got caught between two cells there. Uh, you and I were coming back from Hyman yesterday and uh, it was a gully washer for sure at times. Let's take a look and see what's going on this morning. Live pinpoint Doppler radar. All of it's into central Kentucky right now. Lexington and Louisville. Not too much going on for us just yet. Temperatures a little cooler. 50s and low 60s this morning for temperatures as you get out the door. We're going to see those low 60s hang around for a little bit. Only about 78 for a daytime high today, so those chances for rain don't go anywhere. We'll talk more about them coming up here in just a few minutes. Will? All righty, Brandon. Thank you. Well, last night, severe storms rolled through the mountains. Here is a video of a severe thunderstorm that came through Knox and Bell counties. It was sent to us by WYMT weather spotter Johnny Nicholson. Well, severe weather continues to grip the nation from Texas to New York. At least two deaths are being blamed on the storms. CBS News' Laura Podesta has the latest. America's heartland continues to be ripped apart by Mother Nature. This is Ozark, Missouri, where drone footage shows damage to homes after a tornado touched down. Nearby in Pleasant Ridge, a tree toppled into Kevin Meyer's home. I looked up and I saw the rotation. It, it just covered everything and I knew it was tornado just dropping right down on us. In other areas of the country, the issue is flooding. Excessive rain uh, along with excessive snowpack uh, has led to a situation along the Mississippi River. Downtown Davenport, Iowa hasn't seen this much water since 1993. Flood waters have reached 22 feet, recently pushing through a temporary levee, swamping streets and parking lots. Across the border in Quincy, Illinois, crews closed down the Memorial Bridge out of fear water would crest over the roadway. The situation became a headache for commuters. And further east, New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, talked about creating a pumping and drainage system to stop rising water levels. He says it's necessary to take action as 100-year weather events continue to happen every four to five years. Laura Podesta, CBS News. A man is dead following a crash in Wolf County. State police say just before one Thursday morning, a woman crossed the median and hit 42 year old Lonnie Harvey Jr's car. Harvey died in that crash. State police are still looking into what caused it. No charges have been filed. Firefighters put out two house fires in Boyd County Thursday morning. 911 dispatchers say one of the homes caught fire on Greenup Avenue in Ashland and the flames quickly spread to the house next door. They say everyone was able to make it out of the homes safely. Donations, they are pouring in for the Howard family after a Harlan County house fire claimed the lives of Allison Howard and her two young toddlers. Six local bands performed at a benefit concert held at Harlan Elementary School Thursday evening with all proceeds going to the Howard family to help with funeral and medical costs. The lead singer of Kudzu Killers went to school with Chad Howard, who is still recovering from his injuries. Because of his connection to Chad, Adam Brock says the benefit concert is something that is very personal. This community, you know, being small is actually close knit. So when something like this happens, um, you know, everybody hears about it real quick and everybody, you know, banded together really quick because I mean, funeral costs and, and, and everything is just so expensive now. The concert helped raise about $600 for the family through the With Love from Harlan organization. The group has already collected about $15,000 for the family through a Facebook donation campaign.
We have new details in this morning in the inmate disturbance at the Bell County Jail Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, we learned the names of the five inmates charged. Those charged are Brad Barnett, Jonathan Widener, Talmadge Posey, Jonathan Maples, and Virgil Brock. All five were charged with inciting a riot, criminal mischief, wanton endangerment in the first degree, menacing and terroristic threatening in the third degree. I feel feel really good and secure that you know our staff you know can handle you know these little incidents that may pop up, and whenever we don't, it's good to know that you have people that are willing to help us. Jailer Gary Ferguson says he is glad to report that none of the officers involved were injured. Thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, a SpaceX spacecraft designed to carry people was destroyed by fire during a recent test. The weekend is here, but it might be an indoor one for a lot of folks. I'll tell you about our upcoming rain chances in about three minutes.